In the name of Jesus, uh, I welcome you to this episode. I will be teaching a series on the book of Revelation. Hallelujah. Uh, you see, the book of Revelation is a fantastic book. Uh, the book of Revelation is very interesting. But I want us to uh, understand this. Many people have built a lot of fallacies, a lot of a kind of a mind about the book of Revelation. Uh, some have called the book of Revelation the book of Antichrist. I once met a friend uh, who said to me that he's not interested about the book of Revelation. Now because uh, the book of Revelation uh, is an event that will happen after the rapture, after the, the, the church flight to heaven. Amen. So as a result, that, that, that the book of Revelation is the activity of the Antichrist. Uh, I also met a great uh, a servant of God who once said that, that, that he's not interested in the book of Revelation, that the book of Revelation is all about seven horns, you know, seven eyes, seven days. It's a book of horror and whatsoever. And I want you to understand that these are imagination. These are what uh, a lot of people thought about the book of Revelation. And I want to tell you that the book of Revelation is plain itself. The introduction is plain itself. And what captured my activity, my, my attention on the book of Revelation is the introduction. Now, Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Now, I will show us why a lot of people don't like to read the book of Revelation. Also, because I have noticed that 75% of, of Christians, they don't read the book of Revelation, but it's a wonderful um, a book. It's a wonderful book because it's not only the book that ended the Bible, not uh, only that it's a book that ended the uh, scripture, uh, 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 the book of Revelation. Now, Revelation chapter 1 verse 1, it said, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Hallelujah. Now you see, in the introduction, he said to us that the book is the revelation of Jesus Christ. So I want you to have at the back of your mind that the book of Revelation is the revelation of Jesus Christ. It is not the book of Antichrist. It is not a book of horror. It is not a book of activities that will happen after rapture. So it is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, See something else that captured my attention. The revelation of Jesus, which God gave unto him. Amen. You see, when Jesus was here on earth, he said that his doctrine is from God. His teaching, his revelation is from God. So this is the same revelation. So this is the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Now, to show unto his servants. You see now? To show unto his servants. So the book of Revelation is for all the servants of God. Now, I don't want to see a servant in the relationship of, you know, someone being, you know, stranger to a family or someone being in, in field of a family. Now, a servant in this uh, a contest is actually one who is serving God's purpose. Someone who is serving God's will. That's why you see Apostle Paul in almost all his epistles introduce himself. I, Paul, the born servant of God, the born servant of our Lord Jesus Christ. James also introduced himself as a servant. James, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jude also introduced himself as a servant. Peter also introduced himself as a servant. Now, the book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter 22 ended, we said, and the servant shall see his face. So we understand that the servants of God are actually the sons of God. Amen. So God gave this book to show unto his servants. Amen. Uh, unto his servants things which must. Now, another, another point. Things which must shortly come to pass. Things which must shortly come to pass. So with me, the things you see in the book of Revelation are the things that will come to pass, that must 
come to pass because Jesus said that these things must come to pass. And the scripture said that every word that proceeded out of his mouth will surely come to pass. He said, instead of my word not to come to pass, it's better than the, than the heaven and earth is a roll away. So these things uh, must come to pass. Then take note of this also. Uh, he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Now, this is where it is. Amen. So he signified it. He signified simply mean he put them in symbols. This is actually the, the problem. Why a lot of people don't understand. So he symbolized it. He coded it. Simply mean he coded it for certain people. For someone to understand. He, 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 he signified it against strangers. So if the book is not for strangers. The book is for servants of God. So he, he, he coded the message so that a casual seeker, one who is not a disciple, one who is not interested in Christ, will not decode and come into the understanding and the revelation of the book of Revelation. He said the first simply mean that he put them in signs. So the signs and the symbols have scared many people away. Amazingly, interestingly, some people don't even know that all the symbols, all the codes are also in the Bible. All the codes that are used to, to symbolize or to signify the message given to John, all the symbols are in Scripture. But if we take a diligent seeker of God, if we take a careful seeker, if we take someone that has affection, someone that is longing for revelation of Jesus Christ, if that someone that has a burning desire, a true seeker of God, to find or to decode, to distinguish the symbols and then grab what God is saying. Praise God. Uh, I want to read this for us in the book of Isaiah chapter 11, uh, I don't say that to say that the message of revelation is signified or symbolized, does not mean that it cannot be read and uh, understood. It can be read and understood. Now, for instance, if you write something in, um, in, a, in a Latin, I might not be able to read it. Now that I can't read it does not mean that someone can't read it. If you write something in a house, I might not be able to read it, but that does not mean that someone cannot be able to read it. So what was written in the book of Revelation can be read by a true seeker, a disciple, a servant of God, who is seeking the revelation of Jesus. Now because the thing that was symbolized is the revelation of Jesus. Now, Isaiah chapter 29 verse 11 said that the vision of all is become unto you as a word of a book that is sealed 